What's going on guys, MoneyWeb here. Sorry for the no videos the last two days, but some issues came up and the slate starting at 1 p.m. yesterday really threw things off, so I really didn't have enough time to get a video out. But this slate is starting at 7 p.m., so we have plenty of time to get a video out. I got some research done. I'm feeling great about this nine-game slate, ready to make some money. So leave a like down below if you're ready to make some money as well. We'll try to get the 30-plus likes again if we can on this video. These are the three lineups I gave out to people that get all four of my lineups yesterday. I got 118. I actually got the same exact score in two different lineups. Not really sure how that worked out. We got 118.4 and 101.4 in the third lineup. Danny Salazar kind of let us down. He had a bad start. He let up like two or three runs in the first inning. He finished with 14.6, so made a little bit out of it, but I was expecting 20-plus out of him. Avon Nova did some work against his old team in the Yankees. I saw that one coming, and we had Alex Sevilla go deep. He has great power. Anthony Rizzo, I think he had a home run in my second lineup. And Cesar Hernandez, he was in three out of three lineups, got me 19 DraftKings points. He had the home run, the little man with the big power. That was big for the lineups. And another one was the Billy Hamilton, 15. So, yeah, pretty solid showing yesterday. We could have got definitely more if Danny Salazar played better like he usually does against a White Sox lineup that isn't that great. But we're going to move on today, guys. We have a nine-game slate for today starting off at 7 p.m. so we had to get a video out got some nice research and feeling good about it so subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already as well for these videos daily let's get this going guys and you can follow me on twitter for my full lineup i tweet one out every single day for nba and mlb coming today and if you guys want my full four lineups the three variations off the one i tweet out it's only five dollars per day or $20 for the week, $50 for the month. So you can DM me for that. And just click on the link in the description below if you want to join the Money Mob on Facebook as well to talk some DFS with some other guys in the group. There's 431 people in this group. So let's try to get it going, get it active, join, ask some questions. You'll get the questions answered to help you get your lineup going. So you just got to click on the link in the description below to get to that. So let's get into my two aces of the day for today and my three favorite bats. Let's go. My first ace of the day, Jason Vargas for 8,000 against the White Sox. He is off to a crazy good start, as dominant as they have come this year. Looking like a side young pitcher coming out of nowhere. His ERA is a crazy .44, and he's 3-0 and on the year, getting over 30 DraftKings points in his last two starts, which really boosted him up to 8,000 in the salary. I think he can get it done again tonight against a White Sox line lineup that isn't that great and he has some weather conditions working in his favor as well the wind is blowing in from left field which will definitely help him out and the White Sox have a pretty low expected run total at 3.70 right now so I think that would definitely benefit they're not expecting that many runs from the White Sox so I think Vargas can definitely limit them in that fashion he's only let up one run this year he's feeling good about himself and I'm feeling good about him tonight 20 plus DraftKings points is definitely on their horizon for Vargas and the Royals can get him the win so you gotta lock him in my second ace of the day is Zach Granke for 9400 against the Padres he actually played the same exact team in his last start and did very well in that game he went for 26.9 DraftKings points, won a full eight innings. He got the complete game in that one, so he can definitely get it done against the same exact team. Their batting average against them from the Padres that have faced them is .234, so not very hot against them. Zach Greinke is going to look for a win or a revenge game. He let up one earned run in eight innings against this Padres team and didn't even get the win the Diamondbacks are heavy favorites in this game as well they're playing in Arizona I think the Diamondbacks are going to tee off on the Padres pitcher so Granky will definitely get more run support than the zero runs he got last game so I think he's in line for a win and a low run total allowed some strikeouts 20 plus drafting points again you gotta lock him in so now that we got my two aces of the day, let's move into my triple play, my favorite three bats. And first off, we're going to go with Jake Lamb 
for 4,300 against the Padres. Lamb is in a perfect spot to hit a home run in this game. The air is going to be very thin, so the ball is going to travel well in this spot. And also, there is 17 mile an hour winds blowing out to right field, so I think Jake Lamb can easily hit one out. He has great power against right handed pitchers, and that is what he is going against in this game. His ISO is 0.287 against them, very high, and his Woba is 0.394. Over the last two years, I think he can carry that over into today game, today's game. He is off to a very good start, batting 315, four home runs. He could add to that total in this game, so you got to lock him in. My second play is going to be Adrian Gonzalez for 3,600 against the Giants. He's going against a pitcher and Matt Cain, and he has a big track record against 78 at-bats. He's batting 282 against them, including four home runs, so he can definitely get it done. He has some experience against them. He'll feel comfortable in the spot. Matt Cain is not a very good pitcher, and 21 starts last year. He gave up 16 home runs, so people can definitely go deep against him in the spot, so I love the Dodgers' bats, including Adrian Gonzalez. He is due for a big game. He had 16 drafting points last game with two doubles so he's starting to come around he is yet to get a home run this year but i think this might be the spot for him to do it against matt kane he loves to give up home runs so you gotta lock him in my third and final play is gonna be Corey seager for 4200 looking at the same team so we're stacking the dodgers we're going seager gonzalez i like turner as well so for Corey seager he is a beast against right-handed pitchers. His ISO is .228, and his Woba is .413. Both those numbers are very high. He is very comfortable against his right-handed pitchers. He's off to a great start this year. He's a young stud batting .392 three home runs and 15 RBIs. So he is a great centerpiece to your lineup at the middle of the Dodgers lineup. I think the Dodgers going to get some runs in this game against Matt Cain. He's not a very good pitcher. Seager can definitely go deep. And for this Dodgers game, there is wind, 17 mile an hour wind blowing out to center field. So one of these bats can definitely go deep and Seager has the power to do so. So you got to lock him in. So that's going to do it, guys. You have your five plays. You have Jason Vargas, Zach Greinke, Adrian Gonzalez, Jake Lamb, and Corey Seager. And for your stack pack, I have three teams that you guys need to stack in your lineups. You got the Dodgers, as you can tell by my plays, the Rangers, and the Diamondbacks. So definitely try to utilize those teams. You got the Dodgers, Rangers, and Diamondbacks. So that's going to do it, guys. Leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed this video. As I said before, if we get this to 30-plus likes, I would greatly appreciate it, guys. So definitely just take a second and leave a like down below. Thank you so much, Money Mob. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already to come and join the Money Mob for these videos daily for the DraftKings and DFS plays every single day to help make your lineups. So yeah, guys, just do all that great stuff. Follow me on Twitter for my full lineup every single day. And you can go and just click the link in the description below to come and join the Money Mob to get you to where you need to go every single day making your lineup to get you in the money. So good luck, Money Mob. We'll see you tomorrow.